Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. In the last episode, we set up this new road here to transport bricks up to our train station here so they can be loaded onto trains, which we modified to be able to carry bricks. Such as here, we added these state cars to carry bricks and they are carrying said bricks and bringing those bricks down to this station here, transferring them to this road freight station, and then being carried into Springfield. So the Springfield should be receiving a supply of bricks here shortly. There we go. There are some bricks on that wagon. So that's where we are at now. One thing we do need to do here is I'm looking at this. And we have an absolute ton of passengers for this train line waiting to come into the capital. And we have an absolute ton of passengers waiting at the capital to go out to those other towns. Even with a train just leaving fully loaded. So, two options. One is bigger trains, and two is more trains. Both of which are going to be very expensive. And we just got five new vehicles, the Russian Class OB, the PLM-220, DMG Konstant, new and actual, like, potential real truck, and some other stuff here. I am going to have to run things at speed, and what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is actually drop the date speed a bit so that while the game is going to run at high speed the actual dates don't change that quickly at least that's the hope anyway quarter speed and then this is going to be paused right yeah I don't think I want to pause it completely But I just want to run it because we're going to need piles of cash. So, I think what we're going to do is, first off, we're going to go to our road freight lines. And any road freight that are using wagons, which there are only two at the moment. We're going to replace these vehicles with the Kanstat. They have more horsepower, they move at 16 miles an hour, and they... Yeah, just that additional horsepower is going to be everything. Do it. And just so we can take a look at them. There they are. It is the first vehicle that you can potentially call a truck as opposed to a wagon. All right, good. And the 
are now receiving a supply of bricks. Good. All right, let's keep it going. You know what I could do is send it back to the send one of these back to the depot. And just add more wagons to it. But let me let me just take a look at what we're, what it would be to replace these guys with something better. So, something like this, uh, for example, or we'll go PLM. Uh, PLM does what, 37 miles an hour? <laughs> the precursor class is what they're currently running, which do 50 miles an hour, attractive uh, 367 horse. Why are we so stinking slow? We could do the jumbo. Cauliflower class. Yeah, the cauliflower class I think might be the better option, so let's add that in. It can do 45. This guy can do 75, so we can move a lot faster. But do I even have a passenger wagon that can do that? Yeah, I do. Teak six wheeler. All right, uh, hundred miles an hour, really. We're probably talking these teak coaches. The Clerestory does fifty. We don't even hardly have a locomotive that can do that fast. But so, what I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Let's 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 do this. Remove you. Let's let's throw the jumbo in there. Sure, add that. And then, what are we currently running? We're currently running three uh, LNWR six wheelers, which are you guys eleven. Let's see, what if I... Well, wow, it's only good. What's the fastest thing we've got? So even if it only gives up at like 50 miles an hour, then that's fine. Let's see, what if I put the eight wheelers on there? So this is like what? That's 15. So that'll be 45 passengers. We put four of them on there. Uh, we would need seven million dollars. That's not impossible. We just need a couple of big loads to deliver.
primarily some big oil trains to dump some deliveries. Or I could take out the loan. I could take out the loan. Both of them. Replace them. Do it. Let's take a look at the train. Not much different for the locomotive. And now we got these uh, teak coaches on there. We should be able to carry significantly more passengers, which means we should make more money off of these. They carry 60 passengers. And we should immediately go to a full load. Yep, there you go. Let me just stick with this. Let me just see how fast it actually gets. Because it, in theory, can do 75. Which is the upper limit of what our tracks can even support. So... Not one. But it does get to around 50, so, you know, that's not terrible. Alright. Well, what I was thinking about, well, you know, that's probably as, uh, as good as we're going to get there. But, what I was thinking about for this episode was that... We need to start getting plastic and steel production up and going so that we can start making goods to deliver to Yulmore and to deliver into Lecky. So that is going to be our plan here. I think. A lot of this map to work on. But, yep, that's going to be the plan here. So, what I would like to do is to have... Because right now, this train picks up this oil, right? Brings it here, drops it off. Picks this up. Comes over here, picks this up, brings it back here, drops it off, and then, in th well, it, it may actually pick up some stuff here, but in theory, runs all the way back here empty to grab this. So, if I could have it say, on its way back here, when it, when it brings the fuel there, drop off the fuel, and then pick up more oil, that we're probably going to have to push more more crude oil into that. Yeah, we're probably going to put more crude oil into that. I have to figure out how we would accomplish that. But, pick up oil here, bring it back down here, and then bring that oil over to this chemical plant. So that is going to be the plan here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start laying down some road. 
Alright, I think I have enough capital to, uh, to kind of slow things down here a little bit, so let's go ahead and go to speed one. And return the date back to normal. Right now, we don't have any paved country road. But we're going to be throwing some tram on there because I think I, I like using these cargo trams. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, why are we not getting... Because I think we're on the wrong elevation. Okay. Well, then let's see if we can fix that. Uh, brush size... Let's uh, bring our terrain up a little bit. All right, there we go. It doesn't look like it's letting me. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to need to add in another entrance. Side entrance. Oh no, that goes over there. Uh, let's see, platforms, no. Cargo buildings? Small side building. Well, let's once let me do that there. Huh. Do I need to throw in another platform? That seems odd. Alright, then we'll throw in track. Then a cargo platform. And then give me a small side entrance here. for the moment. Okay. And then let's see if that lets me do this. I think... Yeah, sorry. I, th I think I see... Alright. It it'll work. It kind of looks a little weird, but I think it'll work. There we go. Yep, now we're getting connections. Alright, good. Alright, so... I think we're just going to do is arc around here. And I could do that. Well, you know what? I think I will. Just, just do it like that. Okay. And then we're going to want a cargo truck station. We don't need electric just yet. There we go. And then we're going to want another one over here.
Okay, we'll do it like that. And what I think I'll do here is... Can, can you intersect over there? You can, actually. It's a bit weird, but yeah, we'll take it. Alright, we're going to need a tram depot, which I can put over here. There to there. This is going to be a road freight line. Road freight. Um, Auto Capital Plastic, I think is what we'll call that. Sounds good. Alright, for now, I'm just going to put four trams on here. So that will get pla uh, oil moving. Now, eventually what it could also do is bring the plastic back to load onto this train. And that's probably where this platform here actually, now that I think about it, that is perfect. We're going to do platforms. We're going to have to rework this at some point because they're going to need more room for the station. Why are you still carrying tons of fuel? That makes no sense whatsoever. All right, whatever. Maybe I'll have to put a second train on there. Now, what I want to do is just make sure that this is going to work that it will let that do that, and it will. And then it can split off to double track, like that, if needed. Or I could blend it in. I could blend it straight into there, make that a diamond, and then continue to use this track. Because we gotta get this pla you know, this plastic, it, you know, once it starts coming back, over to there. But I think the traffic on this particular line is probably already heavy enough. So what I'll probably need to do is quadruple track it so that, uh... So it'll have enough. We have to come through here. Let me bypass the whole thing. I'll have to see. Maybe just keep making sightings here and then, you know, because I could, you know, I want to say platforms. Actually, I can't. 
I'd have to remove this piece of track. Actually, that's probably something I might want to do. Let me just pause it here. Now that I noticed that that didn't work. Because this, this track is not technically... What in the world is this? That's odd. Alright. Oh, whatever. That track is technically not part of the station. So I would need to configure the station. Oh, we still need to... Okay. Remove that. Alright. Now will you let me do it? Alright, good. Now, it'll accomplish pretty much the same thing. Yeah, there you go. But now, I could build more platforms over here. Okay. That's something I'll have to remember for the future. It still bypasses through there as normal. Good. That's a lot of brick. That is an absolute ton of brick. And it does look like that this is upgraded. Yes, it has. All right, good. Good. You feed it more stone. There's another quarry up here somewhere. There's one. All right. Now, supposedly, in this version of the game, you don't actually need... This is a Yulmore fuel train. Uh, you don't actually need to complete the full chain in order for stuff to be able to move and for production to actually go. So, yes. There is actually fuel or oil now that is queuing up to be sent there, to then head to there. Okay. All right, well, let's start working on trying to get that to the goods, the goods factory. All right. Got eight million in the bank, so we should be fine. I'm not gonna pay down that loan just yet. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and quad track this. I probably don't need to quad track it for this particular segment. Well, maybe. Well, up to here, probably would need to quad track, but then I would need to probably quad track it from there on. So I'll just quad track it the whole way. Actually, I probably don't even need to double track this just yet, because it's only going to be one train. But I'm going to build the infrastructure anyway, just to have it in place.
At some point, there's going to be a freight infrastructure that's going to head out to here as well, so. And I think what I'll probably do... is just because... Now, it didn't let me do this before. Will it let me do this now? Yes, it will. And I think all these guys need to be double slipped. Now, that doesn't screw up any of the lines. No, it doesn't. It's just going to make more options available for the trains. And probably I will need to move that again. Alright, so coming towards this station. Is where things are going to get slightly interesting. Now I can completely bypass this station, but no, I want to. I want to have it available. Now the thing is, do I want to add a platform over here to allow there to be a stop? No. Or maybe. So if I were to add platforms here. Man, if I want to increase the length of this station, it's going to be a lot of work. I'll probably have to completely move this entire section of track to lengthen this station. I may even have to completely rework this whole section here. Oh, that's a, that's a project for another time. For the time being, we're just going to be flying through there. But there are options. Will be options to stop there if needed. And it's looking like we're at the end of the episode. So you are going to route your way in there. And does that make sense to do it there? I think it does. this let me do this on this curve no it doesn't look like it's gonna let me do that on that curve all right well we'll just leave that alone for now and yeah we need to end this episode right about here I just kind of want to get you attached to this Maybe not there. Stay level. I 
submerged like that. It's still ugly. Oh well, I think this is going to be how it is. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and end this episode here. Continue to work on this project. Run this out to here, and then it's going to have to break off here at some point. To head down to there, and we'll put the station in. And then we'll start delivering some plastic to there, and then we'll start working on steel. Alright, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.